Hello YouTube, and why these fish belong in a horror movie more than sharks? Yeah, because sharks are adorable. Oh, it's a popcat! What the fuck?! Bro, that's a demon. That's a demon! That's a demon! That's a demon! You know, the greatest trick Hollywood ever pulled was convincing the world that sharks are the only things to fear in the water. There be monsters. Well, that's a fucking demon! In the last video, we talked about how That bitch is straight out of fucking Bloodborne! Sharks might just be the most misunderstood creatures in nature. With a PR team that works about that as hard be cute. as a whiteout's brain after six rounds of CTE. They've been done so dirty, they've actually overshadowed the other ichthyological insanity spawned from Satan's septic tank. These are seven fish that should honestly seven. terrify you more than any shark. Seven. This isn't really to substitute one fear for another, but I do think these fish could make a much more traumatizing, nightmare-inducing horror flick than Jaws. And it starts right here. Those eyes belong to a pair of Arapaimas, also known as a Piraruku. You've definitely seen them before. Does this okay. video ring a bell? No. It definitely rang his. It's one of the biggest freshwater middle fingers nature forgot to vault, usually growing to over six feet long and 200 something pounds. It's bad enough those are NBA point guard measurements, but the beefiest ones can get to 10 feet in length and weigh Holy. over 400 pounds. This Jurassic Roid guppy usually eats other fish to go with fruits and seeds, oh. but also birds. Oh, oh. that was, that was kind of cute. That no, literally, he just literally just went like, Jurassic Roid Guppy usually eats other fish to go I'm with not... fruits and seeds, but also birds and allegedly even monkeys. Maybe he's misunderstood too. He's sitting on branches too close to water. Oh no. No. Not the cock. And if you don't believe that, it's because you haven't seen Ugh. them hunt. They're explosively quick and the aquatic black hole has been known to confuse feet for fish and violently pull people underwater. One zookeeper wow. reportedly made the mistake of trying to retrieve a glove that had fallen into an arapaimo pool. Oh in a no. Split second, got his hand, wrist, and several fingers broken. Ouch. There's also the fact that a refrigerator sized fish will yeet themselves out of water in self defense. And let's well, talk about that. That defense, the plus size bite chair is covered in heavily armored scales, not only okay. tough enough to tank piranha attacks, locals historically use them as nail files. They've also what? used their toes as scrapers since these fish. Ew, 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 ew. I would, I would, no, I would never. Have teeth going out of a bony tongue. Super perfection, you, yeah. crush struggling prey against the roof of their mouths. You know, nature got wow. in this bag when it made a fish that could breathe air, and the Antichrist of the Amazon has a modified swim bladder that was repurposed as lungs, meaning this flex of a fish can survive 24 hours out of water. 24 hours out of water? Yeah, this bitch is way more terrifying than a shark. On one hand, that means they have to come up for air every 20 minutes or suffer the eternal shame of being a fish that finds a way to drown. But it also works out for them because in low oxygen water where most fish become slow and sluggish, the air merchant menace can pretty much go on a killing streak. Now the question is, could an arapaima pack up a person? While there's no indication they see us as a snack. Okay, that's really pretty. That's really there are pretty. Old stories of high-strung assault guppies effectively drowning people, likely by knocking them unconscious and leaving them incapacitated underwater. Not him, he's fine. Yeah. Like, you can unclench guidelines, he's good. But oh, one yeah. man that almost wasn't was Jeremy Wade. He probably needs no okay. introduction, but long story short. I'm sorry, I, 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 he does need an introduction to me. I live on a stone. So, man, thanks for the follow. He's a zoologist who hosted the show River Monsters, which ended, okay. but only because he caught every fish nature had to offer. Oh. But he almost Fair. caught an early life retirement after a pissed off Pima struck him square in the Probably chest pay. and nearly caused irreversible damage to his heart. Not only did this fish nearly have a singing. Hello, Jeremy Wade. Uh, watch a lot of his episodes. Suspect hey. wasn't more than 90 pounds. Bro, those red scales look so sick. Remember, the overachievers can press the scales at 400 or, you know, 180 kilograms worth of Killaman. So yeah, wow. the Arapaima is a shack-sized, air-breathing, armor-plated predatory vacuum. And strangely enough, it's not the fish I'm most scared of in the Amazon. But we'll get to that. The oh piranha boy. Actually isn't. If you Piranhas, man. Why do we... In Germany? Or like, in German, we pronounce a piranha isn't that also how it's actually pronounced in the original language whichever fucking one that is 
I, I, I don't fucking know. Isn't that actually how it's supposed to be pronounced? But the English people always have to go like... Nah. Let me add it. Piranha. You remember from an earlier video, piranhas might be just as misunderstood as sharks. Piranhas. They're mostly just scammers. In Spanish, we pronounce it like that too. That is. Convinced... I'm pretty sure it's a Spanish word or something. There's an N squiggle line. So yeah, yeah. Piranha. Piranha. This were way more of an issue. You cannot say the same for their cousins found in the Congo basin of Central Africa. The Goliath tigerfish can grow nearly five feet long, over a hundred. Bro, he's got some spears on that side of his fucking mouth. What the fuck? Pounds, and they're what people were told piranhas are times 10. They're in the same order, but where piranhas are primarily a swimming cleanup crew, tigerfish actively hunt for their bodies. And you'll find out, nature built this prehistoric problem to do exactly that. They have chomp, sharp, chomp. dagger-like yeah. teeth. So who wants to go swimming? I can't swim. Of a great white. Although I personally see them as more conical, like a crocodile. Yeah. Which is a coincidence since the saltwater variety are their only natural predators. But of course, the swimming expletive has also been known to murk smaller crocs. They have eerily strong eyesight to This fish has murked crocs. Prey, special this fish has killed crocodiles. Water, and they're strong enough to brute force their way through the turbulent waters of their hunting grounds. They're considered one of the toughest freshwater fish time Oh! Provided. Oh, the bitch slap! The fish are even on record snatching birds out of the air. Not just birds, but swallows. Some of the fastest and most maneuverable out there. Scientists studying them watched as 300 birds got permanently grounded by tigerfish in just over two weeks. They're so fierce wow. that in many places they're only known by one name, Benga. Benga? Meaning the dangerous fish. Accurate. I would say that's pretty accurate. There's even a story of a young girl wearing a belt made out of bottle caps in order to ward off evil spirits. Ironically, it did the exact bottle opposite caps? and attracted a tiger fish who apparently confused the bottle caps for fish scales and nearly bisected the girl. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think bottle caps would help against those teeth. Allegedly. It's an extremely fast, explosive vice grip with almost zero prey prejudice. And I'd still rather take a bite from them than the fish up next. And that's because next is the Kandiru. And a lot of y'all are- It's just a little baby. Just a little baby. I already know what road we're going down. The Kandiru is- Oh no. Oh no, is it the penis fish? Oh no, is that the penis fish? A tiny parasite in the Amazon, also nicknamed it's the, the vampire penis fish, fish. The habit of invading the gills of larger fish and scraping the insides to feed off their blood. And with backward facing spines and a powerful bite, it's nearly impossible to shake it off before it completes its liquid transaction. The horror oh. comes from the up the urethra of unlucky bait that takes uh. surgery to reverse. Uh. Imagine a serrated uh. sentient toothpick in your bathing suit. Business, and you'll see why the violation with gills is so feared. But how much of this is even real? Most of the reports of people getting penetrated by peenfish are really sus at best. Apparently, they're not. No kink shape. <laughs> Bruh! attracted to the ammonia in human urine in the first place. There's a good chance that the can do or controversy came from European settlers coming home from long expeditions and telling these long, exaggerated stories to anyone who'd listen for status and attention. Yeah, but basically, they were probably lying for clout. You have to remember, Just trust me, bro. skinning a cow thing I'm pretty sure there were- No, 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 I'm pretty sure there were some cases of that happening, though. From local like, there was, like, a, a, a fucking the documentary is, about that. The chances of in the Amazon and getting frontal probed by a fish are about as much as you getting meal prepped by a shark or getting struck by lightning. Oh, my bad. And getting struck by lightning. That being uh -huh. said, I'd rather get tag teamed by the pets of Poseidon oh. and the forces of Zeus than have a bloodluster up my urethra, no frame. <laughs> if the odds ain't zero, they're just too high for me. But I'll have to take True. a Kanduru to the Manduru, then run into aquatic op number four. In fact, I'm so afraid of it, I actually had to break my own rule for this video. The Humboldt squid obviously isn't a fish, but it's the closest What's thing to a What's his own rule? Night. How... Oh, bro, did he just get claws? The Humboldt squid obviously isn't a fish, but it's the closest thing to... Bro! To a living nightmare on this list. Let's be clear. At five feet, about a hundred pounds, there are bigger squids are tasty. Squids are tasty. Squid. What sets Humboldt's apart is they can hunt in packs 
of over a thousand. Yeah, that, that's three zeros like a Tony oh Snell stat line. God. Nicknamed Diablo Rojo, there are old fisherman tales. This squid has a nickname that starts with Diablo. This this squid has a nickname that starts with Diablo. Need I say more? Men falling overboard, getting swarmed, and never coming back up. There's also stories of them curiously approaching divers before flipping and trying to rip their masks Red off. Devil? But who needs Damn. stories when marine biologist Alex Kerstich can tell you about the time several homicidal squids grabbed him and attempted to drag him down into the dark maw of the abyss. It gets worse when you realize what exactly happens when a red devil decides to take you to hell. Humboldts aren't just highly intelligent, they're covered in tiny red chromatophores that they can use okay. to rapidly change color in order to communicate with each other. It's communicating by changing colors. Damn. It's like Morse code, but for Crippin Calamari. We don't know exactly what it means, but there's a good chance if a Humboldt confronts you and starts violently flashing red, it could be telling a bunch of others you can't see that you're free eats. So likely the last oh thing you'll my see Lord. is pulsing red before you get eaten alive. It doesn't help that satanic cephalopods are known for speed eating and are notorious for stripping fish to the bones faster than fishermen can reel them. Add a beak that can what easily slice fuck? flesh and a bite force that can reportedly crack bone. And I Talk think you see why I'm not exaggerating when I say I'll deal with every other fish on this list than a pack of predatory color coordinating squid. And I don't care what logic says, there's no doubt in my mind this squid would eat a human if they thought they could. Why? Humboldt yeah. squid only live about a year. That rapid growth in a short time means they'll rarely pass up an easy meal, even if it's their own kind. Humboldts are highly cannibalistic, and they will what? not hesitate to turn on a- I sadly know enough about H to know that no cute anime girl should ever go swim there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't go swim there. Not even for the age. A weak or injured member of their own hunting party. There was a study done off the coast of Chile that found that out of over 2,000 squid, more than half held the remains of their own kind in their stomachs. Ugh, it sounds to me that anything wow. they see as weaker than them is score. something they can feed off. And the only saving grace for us is they usually only press things smaller than they are. But you don't even have to be seen as food for affiliated squids to be a problem. Like a true xenophobic, they react to most things they don't understand with aggression. And they've even attacked cameras and equipment and left them out of order. Actual nightmare fuel right there. I would dive with sharks, but this thing, no thank you. Yeah, no thanks. But to me, the most disturbing aspect of getting assaulted by squids is, even if you escape, if you panic and surface too fast, you can get the bends and past tense anyway. That type of psychological horror is what puts the Humboldt here, and wouldn't you know, emotional yeah. damage is another symptom of finding out about the next fish. Because now we oh got God, the stonefish. Oh, I heard about this one! Not one of, but the most venomous fish known to man. It's armed with verruco toxin, and symptoms of getting stung include crippling pain, shock, tissue death, and even paralysis. And speaking of pain, Yay! you can be in agony for over 12 hours, and it's enough of an eternal jihad to cause hallucinations. Anecdotally, there have been tourists who've stepped oh, on- Oh! Oh! Oh, that looks the so bad! ...to beg their doctors to chop off the whole Oh. Then there's the added threat of, if you don't get out of the water quick enough, it won't even be the venom. You can get paralyzed and catch a stage fatality to drowning. Even if you survive, Lovely. you can still suffer permanent nerve damage and- They do look kind of fascinating though. They do look really fascinating though, man. Nature is crazy. Severe muscle atrophy. Nature is so crazy. Be that bad if the stonefish wasn't nature's manifestation of a dick move. The most venomous Friend animals shaped. on the planet usually no. dress with bright colors to warn the rest of the population that they're packing. Stonefish yes. decided to do exactly none of that and instead cosplays as a stone. As a stone. Only to mortally punish you for its camouflage. One of they working. taste good though. Nightmare, like nightmare, nightmare. That's right. It's like having invisibility, but also serving the death penalty every time someone steps on your foot. Then you gotta add the fact that there are another fish that can survive 24 hours out of the water, and they have a literal switchblade growing out of their forehead. Yeah, I knew there were a problem ever since one new What? Nigel Thornberry. A stone cloaking toxic mind. Stone cloaking toxic minefield of even him being the second wow. most administered in Australia. Today, if you get stung, your chances of surviving are actually pretty good. Not like the oh. next fish, because for this one, there is no What the fuck is that face? <laughs> what is that face? Bro, why the long face? No antidote. The stonefish might be the most venomous fish, but the pufferfishes are 
Looks like Voldemort, right? The most poisonous thing alive. Quick oh. rule of thumb on the difference: if it bites you and you die, it's venomous. If you yes. bite it and you become a was, it's, it's poisonous. poisonous. And few things are more poisonous than puffer tetrodotoxin, which is 1,200 times more of a death sentence than cyanide. Tetrodotoxin interferes with signals between nerves and muscles, causing muscle paralysis and a total shutdown. And of course, oh. the fugu blowfish is considered yes. a delicacy. But if the yeah. But just one wrong move and it's bye bye. Chef misses a single cut even by a little, you're instantly on the clock. You won't know that happened. I would never, I would never eat fugu just because of this man. Just because of this. I know it's a delicacy, but just because of this, I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather stay alive. So your face goes numb and your lips and tongue get this weird prickling feeling. <laughs> Then, you'd suddenly get a splitting headache and dizziness to go with vomiting and diarrhea as your body desperately tries uh, to purge the poison. But it's already too late and you'd start getting paralyzed, starting with the hands and feet, but slowly spreading out. And by this point, you likely can't even call for help. Finally, it'd get harder Fun. and harder to breathe until you Fun. notice the room slowly fade to black, leading to either a seizure or just death. Death. The permanent Latest. kind. Tetrodotoxin essentially flips a kill switch <laughs> in your body and there is... Death. No way. There's no antidote. The only treatment is hooking you up to a respirator to breathe for you and praying it passes. The poison puffball is such a problem, it makes you forget they also have teeth that can bite clean through your finger. In fact, Ooh, it's wait, more what? than enough to violate a scorpion. And I don't even know how to describe what they do to crabs. Turning crustacean into crustacean with a smile, no less. Poor Mr. Krabs. It's criminal. There's nothing funny about getting caught in that bite, with reports of pufferfish mutilating the genitals of men in one case in 2000. You wanna play that back again? Chat, you wanna listen? Caught in that bite with reports of pufferfish mutilating the genitals of men in one case in 2008 where a Cambodian child had his uh, coin purse sliced in half by a pufferfish. Sliced in half? Enjoy that, chat. And unlike the Kanduru, this ain't a myth. Have your privates out by a puffer and you might just get... <laughs> There it is. I was about to look up the clip myself. I was about to find the clip myself if it didn't play so it. that's six of the Sinister Seven, but before we get to the last one, we got honorable mentions. The fact that there's a fish that weapon- I was expecting a f puff of fish to be on here. I'm still thinking anglerfish or what it's called, right? Um, is it called that in English? The anglerfish? You know, the fish with the tiny lamp that attracts you? That, or that attracts Tanya fish to eat it. That one. There's that, yeah. Like, if that's not even on here, damn. It's not even that dangerous. Doesn't really do anything to humans, though. Yeah. So, it's still horrifying. Guys, electricity enough to decommission a caiman, and we just accept that is kind of crazy. And the thing is, it might not even be the voltage, but. He's kinda cute. It's getting knocked out in shallow face? water that'll get you. Swordfish are one of the fastest things in the sea. They also have a built-in oh. melee weapon equipped capable of inflicting life-altering harm. In 2015, a Hawaiian man was fatally struck in the chest while trying to catch one. Fatally, chat. Fatally! Another man in Malaysia bled to death after a swordfish yeeted itself out of the water and also RNG'd him in the chest. Swordfish are also on record shanking sharks and even bleeding out sea turtles. The sheep's head fish. That looks like a horse. What the fuck are those teeth? Bro, that's horrifying! Yeah, really only because of that mouth. Shibophobics be damned. The Titan yeah, what the fuck? is a highly aggressive honey badger with gills capable of dishing out severe injuries with the same teeth they use for crunching coral, sea urchins, and even a crown of thorns starfish. The trigger oh. might as well be named after their temper, and this foot and a half vibe check is a big reason- You average Brit, bro. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Not the bridge catching straight. And why beginner divers never go back in the water. <laughs> Speaking of big, the Goliath grouper. Thank you! Thank you for the deal one, cockroach me. At eight feet up to 800 pounds, the fish the size of a small car feels more like a leftover Jurassic prop. Lucky for us, most divers describe it as a gentle giant with the temperament of a St. Bernard. Although a St. Well Bernard done. didn't allegedly swallow an entire kid in the Florida Keys. 
allegedly. Allegedly. On the subject, the last fish on this list are catfish. And yeah, oh, it's kind really? Of eating. There's over 3,000 species of catfish, even including the genital jihad, the candiru. Catfish are like the trash compactors of the fish family, which isn't a problem until you see just how big they can really get. And once a catfish gets big enough, there aren't a lot of things alive they won't try to eat. We've oh seen my God. turtles, not the turtles, and even unaware seagulls get fooled by a catfish. There's a species in France that figured out how to stalk and hunt bathing city pigeons. Another wow. learned to wait by cave entrances to suck up any exhausted bats that fall in. There was oh even my a catfish God. nicknamed Kuno the Killer who terrorized a German lake and somehow oh, caught and ate someone's dog. Basically, the no. I see, they're the pelicans of the sea. Okay, yeah. Bro, I hate pelicans. They're all the shit I've talked about pelicans being just in fish form. The question uh, is, fuck if pelicans. Have ever eaten a live human? And it isn't even if they would, but if they could. The Wells catfish yeah. can grow to 10 feet long and cap out at 300 pounds. The Macon catfish can also get to 10 feet, and the heaviest one ever recorded was pushing 650 pounds. If there's a catfish oh that God. can stomach a human, it should be one of these, but there's a slightly smaller catfish that was believed to be a legit man-eater. In the late 90s and early 2000s, a series of fatal attacks on people in the Kali River had people convinced okay. there was something in the water hunting humans. In these attacks, victims were suddenly pulled underwater in front of people, only for their bodies to never be recovered. Actually, pelicans of the seamen, they hate us just as much. They hate everything, to be fair. <laughs> bro, pelicans, what the fuck? Actually, just pelicans of the sea, bro. In 2007, Adal Kumar was swimming with friends when he was violently dragged underwater, and while he was never seen again, friends oh, man. caught a glimpse of something. Something that they could only describe oh, no. as an elongated pig. Crocs and bull sharks were considered, but the prime suspect ended up being the goonch. At about over six feet, two hundred pounds. Mustache. The goonch is usually smaller than the whales or the macung, but it's feared that the practice of burning funeral pyres by the river led to the equal opportunists developing a taste for human flesh. And while it's a stretch to say a corpse happy catfish could swallow an adult, it becomes a little less believable with children. There's no solid proof of a catfish catching a person, but they for sure can off one. The biggest oh ones can easily overpower you, if not just knock you out and drown you. Not Bruh. I always thought catfish would be like considered cool and shit, but they Fuck are them. venomous with those bystanders cool. in the hospital. They also have a nasty sandpaper like bite that can easily draw blood. But what really oh. makes them a living horror movie is their intelligence. The ones packing up pigeons, they weren't always doing that, but they pretty much ate everything else around them and were forced to adjust. So Holy it's anyone's guess shit. what could happen if they gain a taste for humans. And with catfish being swimming tongues with over 175... Holy shit, yet people can cat catch catfish with bare hands even today. Damn! A thousand taste buds across their bodies. Why? Yeah, acquiring taste takes long. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you drink water, hug your mother, try not to get catfished out here. If you'd like to see me swim with- You know what? That gives the term catfish a whole new meaning. Slightly less freaky fish, the full GoPro footage of me in Hawaii will be uploaded to my Patreon. And with that last second self promo out the way, I'ma see y'all in the, in the next, next one. one. Oh. Oh. Blowing our bubbles. Blop, blop, blop. Makes her happy. <laughs> adorable. What the fuck? That was adorable. What the hell? That was so adorable, though. Goodbye, YouTube. Yes, goodbye, YouTube. Don't go swimming with any of these fish, YouTube. Do not go swimming with any of these fishies. They're not safe. You're not safe.